Hey guys, welcome to Windows 10 Training for Beginners. I'm your instructor Zishan Khan and you are watching IT Army. So this is tutorial number 8 and in this tutorial we are going to talk about managing the settings using the new way that is using settings app and using it using the legacy way that is using the control panel that was uh, I think around from since two decades. So uh, this is all about uh, managing settings. So how to launch the settings application we need to go to start and from there you're going to see the settings link over here. You can launch from there. Or the other way is you can right click in the start menu and from there you're going to find settings or you can go to the settings application by using action center. So Windows plus A takes you to the action center and from there you can launch settings from here. So these are the different ways in which you can launch the settings or the shortcut icon, uh, the, sh the shortcut key is Windows plus I and you get to the settings window. Now depending on what version of Windows you are using, I'm using March 2018 update. So you have uh, these icons over here for you. It may be less or more depending on what version you have. So this is the settings application. So I Windows setting and we get a text box over here. If you are looking for a particular setting, but you don't know exactly in which section it is, you can type on over here. It will take you directly over there. Or you can directly go to these sections, managing system, devices, phone, network internet personalization so different settings are available over here so if i go to system as name suggests managing your system you can manage your display settings from here changing the resolution the scaling you can do over here make it uh, the font look bigger orientation it's landscape portrait different ways are there um, if you have multiple monitors set up you can change these things over here then we have settings related to sound, adjust the volume, input if you have microphone, you can test your microphone over here and other uh, volume related settings are there. Notification action center, we have seen this action center, so settings related to that, what icons you want to see, if you want to change the sequence, you can simply drag and drop these icons anywhere, going back. Uh, then we have the notification settings. Notification should be enabled or not. And what applications send notification? You can switch off the notification from a particular application. And then going on to focus assist. In case if you are uh, doing some kind of presentation, you can switch on that focus assist, and the notifications will not be shown at that time. So you can adjust notification for which application gets shows, or uh, you say only alarms get uh, show you the notifications. So these are some automatic rules. When the notifications get displayed, you can change these rules. Then we have power and sleep setting where your machine, uh, the screen goes off after 10 minutes of no activity and after 30 minutes, your machine goes to sleep mode. Then we have settings related to storage, how many drives you are having and how much you have utilized. And we have a feature called as storage cells, so it will automatically clean up the old temporary files uh, on a timely basis. And then we have a tablet mode if you want to switch to tablet mode, or uh, from here you can say change you want to use tablet mode, or you want to use a desktop mode, or you want to direct based on the hardware. So if you have a detachable laptop, so you can detach the screen from the keyboard. It will automatically detect and uh, it will ask you before changing between desktop and tablet mode. And close it. I can switch from here also actually. Switch on tablet mode and this is the tablet mode how it looks like. So you see the, the full screen of apps. You click on over here you see the list of all the applications installed. So this is basically the tablet mode. You have the back button, Kotara, task view to switch between different applications. And that's it. And I want to go back. You can switch on the keyboard also on screen keyboard. It shows you the tablet mode. You can type anything from here. And let me go back to the, the desktop mode. So this is the desktop mode. So let's go back to settings, apps, system. And now over here we have uh, multitasking. If we, we already talked about uh, multiple desktop, from here we have different settings, whether snapping is enabled or not, and timeline should be enabled or not, virtual desktop, how you want to see uh, the applications. Uh, 
projecting in case if you are connecting to a projector because uh, set up the different settings from here uh, share experiences a new feature we are going to discuss later uh, remote desktop this is a feature it is not there in uh, windows 10 home edition so you cannot enable it will be pro or enterprise and then from the about you get to see the list of uh, the information about your machine the name of the machine and all other details going back to home then you can see the devices what devices you are having connected keyboard mouse you can manage the settings from there you can manage the different settings related to devices like uh, printers and scanners you can add printers and scanners from here uh, adjust the settings for your mouse what is your primary button the left or the right when you use the mouse to scroll how many lines scroll at a time uh, how many lines to scroll so by default it is uh, three i guess yes and you can choose how many lines should be scrolled and typing related settings whether uh, spelling should be auto corrected or not different suggestions you want to have or not and a lot of other settings are available over here uh, i can go to advanced keyboard settings to add uh, multiple languages also uh, pen if you use inking if you have touch enabled device you use pen for writing on that you can use inking for that autoplay options are there if you are inserting a dvd or a flash drive what action should be taken auto play should happen or not if you don't want you can remove it for removable device it should open explorer or should import uh, the images whatever you have so different settings are available over here uh, you can configure from here then we have a uh, usb whether notification notify if there is any issue related usb so if the usb is corrupt or anything you get notifications regarding that going back to phone i have not shown phone so you can connect uh, your phone like android or ios or windows phone so you can link your windows operating system with the phone so you can synchronize your settings and uh, documents we have network related settings networking status whether you are connected to the internet or not ethernet settings dial up I, I, I guess no one is using dialog these days a vpn connecting to a virtual private network so it's basically used by the users the employees to connect to the corporate network uh, through vpn uh, data usage you get a good statistics that whatever uh, network you are connected to over the last uh, 30 days how much data you have downloaded and uh, if you want to see usage per application you can click on the details and it gives you the complete list so it's mostly the system that has downloaded the updates uh, not much from other applications. It's quite statistic that was not there in the previous versions of Windows. And if you want to set the data limit, if you are on a restricted network, uh, you can click on set limit and you can set monthly or one time or unlimited what type it is. So if it's uh, monthly, you can specify uh, what is the reset date and you specify the limit in units, GBs or MBs. Uh, then we have proxy in case if you are just basically used in corporate network that they have a proxy server that monitor that uh, what uh, activities you are performing over the internet what downloads are happening or what websites they are uh, you are being used you are using so they can block any particular website or block the downloads uh, different stuff they can set so it's basically for corporate network so we never uh, set up the proxy server in, in our home then going back to personalization, I already discussed uh, personalization. Uh, apps is all about uninstalling applications. So from here, you can manage the applications. So installing applications can be from anywhere, or you can say that uh, it can only be from store. Uh, you have here, we have the list of applications. The previous uh, tutorial, I showed you how to uninstall the applications. So from here, you can uninstall. Default apps is how you can uh, do the association that which application uh, opens to uh, what type of applications, what type of files from here. So here you see the list of all the file extensions and by which application uh, they get open. Uh, offline maps are there. You can download offline maps for nice na for navigation, uh, whether it should be downloaded over the meter network or not. Uh, apps for website like this we have different settings regarding the video playback whether it should enhance the video or not 
Uh, then we have startup that whenever you start up your machine, some application gets started. So if you want to stop any application from starting automatically, you can disable it. So if I say that whenever I start up my machine, OneDrive should not get started, I can switch it off. So these different settings are available in apps. Then we have account. We have uh, account management as name suggests. So we have a separate uh, tutorial on that. We'll be covering it later on. Uh, time and language can adjust the time, current time. It automatically uh, updates that time, and you can also the, adjust the time zone. So it's my is set to U.S. Canada. Um, if you switch it on, it based on the GPS or, or over the internet, it will automatically find out my location. It will set it automatically. Then uh, calendar settings, date and time formats. What is the first day, short date format, long date format, short time and long time? In this uh, formats, you can change. Regional language, you can select what is your uh, country, what languages, if you want to have uh, windows in multiple languages, you can install additional languages also over here. Then we have a speech recognition, so we have text to speech and a speech recognition, you can specify what language you speak. And uh, text to speech, we have different narrators, so if it is uh, reading any text, uh, which character's uh, voice should be used. Can preview the voice. You have selected Microsoft David as the default voice. You have selected Microsoft Zira as the default voice. So these are the different characters. You can set up your uh, microphone from here. So these are the different settings related to uh, time and language. Next we have related to gaming. Ease of access, you get applications like narrator, magnifier, high contrast. Kotana we'll be covering later on. We have different privacy settings. And uh, updates and security from where we can install the updates. If you have any update available, you can uh, change the time. You can see the history of updates and some advanced settings. So different settings are available that you can manage from here. Uh, we'll be talking about all these things, recovery, troubleshooting, in uh, later on tutorials. So. Uh, this was uh, one way to manage uh, to manage your uh, Windows operating system, and uh, the legacy way is using a control panel. So you can go to Start, and there you're gonna see Windows System, and there is Control Panel. Or in the Start type, Control, open Control Panel, or from the Run. Type control, enter, and control panel open. So here you are seeing the categorized view. You can switch on to large icons or small icons, and you see different applications. So if you are, uh, a lot of the settings are not still migrated to new settings application, you can do it from control panel. So hope you found this your video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment section below, and see you in the next video.